The White House, top government health officials, and the FBI likely violated the First Amendment by improperly influencing and coercing social media companies to shut down certain online stories about elections and COVID-19. So says the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. The appellate court issued that unanimous ruling late on Friday night. All three judges on that panel were appointed by Republican presidents, and this is being seen as a big victory for conservatives who have long believed that their voices were being suppressed on social media. The Department of Justice says the federal government has been working with social media companies for years to promote responsible actions to protect public health, safety, and security. Now, I actually told you all about this whole court case in this video back in July when a federal judge in Louisiana issued the original ruling that included a sweeping order that banned a three-page list of government officials from the White House, FBI, CDC, HHS, Homeland Security, Surgeon General's Office, and Department of State, just to name a few, from coordinating with or even communicating with social media companies when it came to protected speech issues. Though the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals generally agreed with the Louisiana judge's ruling, the appellate court said his ruling was just way too broad. The appeals court threw out nine of the 10 prohibitions in the Louisiana judge's ruling and limited the 10th to say that the government cannot coerce or significantly encourage social media companies to remove, delete, suppress, or reduce, including through altering their algorithms, posted social media content containing protected free speech. The government is still allowed to coordinate and communicate with the companies on other issues. The Fifth Circuit panel also cut down that three-page list of banned government officials to just four agencies, the White House, the Surgeon General's Office, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and the FBI. The appellate judges found that all the other agencies on the original list had not coerced social media companies to moderate their websites. It's also important to know the Fifth Circuit took time in their ruling to make it very clear that the Constitution prohibits the U.S. government from infringing on your First Amendment rights. But a private party, like a social media company, bears no such burden and is not ordinarily constrained by the First Amendment. So while a few of these government agencies are now banned from any sort of action that would be construed as coercive, nowhere in this ruling does the Fifth Circuit say that social media companies on their own are banned from muting your speech. Now, this is not over. It is very possible the Department of Justice is going to appeal this decision to the Supreme Court.